Hello everybody. So uh, we are going to uh, discuss now uh, um, a case that we see a lot in uh, chemical processes, um, and it's 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 very common that it's almost in all the chemical processes that we have. And um, to understand this, to understand this uh, this concept, we need to uh, take a look at this flow sheet, and this will be the 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 example that we uh, are going to use for demonstration. Uh, we have here uh, hydrogen, nitrogen. Uh, we know the flow rates and they are fed to a reactor where the reaction between hydrogen and nitrogen takes place and it produces ammonia and then uh, the, the reaction doesn't happen uh, with 100% efficiency which means that some of the hydrogen and nitrogen are not consumed uh, and that's why the product contains ammonia and hydrogen and nitrogen and then the product from the reactor uh, is fit to a separator because the ammonia is the product so we need to get pure ammonia if it's possible to get pure ammonia so what we do is we um, ammonia here in this stream is 12.5 um, percent so we have to uh, increase its concentration in the um, in the product stream so we feed it to a separator that separates the mixture into two parts part of them is uh, very very rich in hydrogen and nitrogen and contains small traces of ammonia and the other stream is very rich in ammonia which is 195 kilogram moles per hour and it contains small amount of hydrogen and nitrogen so finally we have a stream that is very uh, very rich in, in ammonia we can consider this as the product just for um, the sake of demonstration of course this is not what happens in reality but let's say that this is what we have so the ammonia that we have here is the product that we have at the end, which is uh, what we are going to sell. And the profit that we are going to make is based on the money we make from selling the ammonia. And if we want to to um, to calculate the, the 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 profit that we uh, we can make out of this uh, of this uh, process, it will be the it's of course it's very 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 simple uh, or, or simple way of of, of um, calculating the, the the profit because there are a lot of other factors that we we have to include but just for demonstration it's going to be the difference between the the money we paid uh, or we, we gain from selling the product and the money we pay to buy the raw materials so the difference between what we pay we, we gain here and what we pay here is is the profit um, so it's important to make the best use of the raw materials because this is what we we pay to get the the or to make profit so if we look at this flow sheet we will see that there is a very very um, big uh, problem here uh, and this problem is uh, related to this stream uh, which is the hydrogen and nitrogen if you look at the numbers you would see that we have uh, 390 kilomoles per hour of hydrogen which are not used relative to 700 kilogram moles per hour of hydrogen in the feed which means that and the same for nitrogen um, there are a lot of hydrogen that is uh, and, and uh, i'm sorry for nitrogen which is not used um, which means that we have almost 60% uh, of the of the of the money that we pay to buy the raw materials is is not uh, is not used so if we just uh, 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 don't use this this stream or we just uh, um, uh, drain it to the atmosphere then we are uh, wasting 60% of the of the money that we are paying for the raw materials without making use of them so this this would be wasted resources and it's it, economically it's not it's not feasible um, to make the the or do, to to not use this this um, this wasted resources so what we can do is we can recycle these um, un unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen and feed them back to the reactor and this is what we uh, we do we have uh, what we call a recycle stream so the recycle stream is a stream that contains uh, some components that can be used again and we are recycling them to be mixed with the fresh feed which is what we call fresh feed we call it fresh feed because we now have two types of feeds the fresh feed and the feed to the reactor which is the uh, product of mixing the fresh feed and the recycle stream so this is the reactor feed and this is the fresh feed so the the uh, uh, the recycle stream is is now uh, mixed with the fresh feed so we add a mixer here and then the product is fed to the reactor and then uh, we are not wasting the resources as we uh, did before or as was in the previous uh, example so um, 
there are some consequences of this one of them is that we have to have a mixer here so we are adding a new unit to the the flow sheet uh, in order to um, uh, make the process uh, efficient uh, by recycling this uh, this uh, these unreacted uh, species the other thing which is an important thing actually is that when we do the calculations we will see that there is one more level of complexity that was not there before this level of complexity is because uh, we have a recycled stream so in order to find the feed to the reactor we have to uh, know how much is uh, the fresh feed and how much is recycled so we need to know uh, stream 4 uh, to solve the mixer and to know stream 4 we have to uh, know stream 3 which comes from the reactor so we need to solve the reactor which needs the knowledge of stream 2 which depends on the mixer which depends on stream 4 so we'll have uh, an endless loop uh, we will have uh, some uh, components or, or streams that depend on, on other streams that depend on other streams and then it depends on the, pre the, the, the very first stream and this is a very common uh, thing that we see in chemical processes which is uh, not solvable uh, or easily solvable directly uh, in many cases we have enough information to solve the whole problem but there is none of the units that can be solved with the given information so what we can do is what we call the iterative solution iterative solution means that we will assume uh, something and then we will uh, recalculate it again and again until we reach um, uh, satisfying results uh, we are not going to cover this in, in this in this uh, series but i have already covered this in my excel videos before and i'm going to post the um, a link to this video in the description so in case of your uh, in case you're interested you will see uh, you can see the, the this video I, I already did the calculations in this video with the uh, software and you can see how this works so um, this is um, this is what we mean by the recycle stream there is one other thing that's very uh, it's, it's it's similar um, in, in a sense or another it's similar to the um, the the recycle stream which is what we call the bypass stream uh, in 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 case of bypass stream, we has we have the feed to the unit uh, is uh, part of it is uh, diverted around the unit and combined with the out output stream, which means and let's say for example we have this unit and we have a feed to this unit. This unit can be a reactor, can be um, mix, uh, it's not mixer, can be a separator, can be anything. Uh, any any process unit uh, that has a feed and the product and this unit is designed and this is this is why we do this by posting in 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 the majority of the cases uh, this unit is designed to accommodate a special floor or, or specific flow rate for example it can deal with 100 kilograms per hour okay and for some reason the uh, feed that comes from the previous units uh, comes with higher flow rate so instead of 100 it's 130 140 kilograms per hour and now if this 140 kilograms per hour are fed to this unit then this will cause a uh, lot of issues uh, it can produce a product that is not matching the requirements it can um, damage the whole unit actually the, the unit might not be able to accommodate this uh, this flow rate so this will be a very very big problem so to avoid this we can redraw the or, or redesign the process to be as follows we can put a splitter uh, so we can split the flow part of it is going to go to unit uh, the, the process unit which is the 100 kilograms per hour and the extra uh, um, amount which is what ex is more than 100 kilograms per hour will be uh, this is what we say here is diverted around the unit so it's it's uh, it's not fit to the unit it's diverted around the unit and combined with the output stream from the unit so now we have a mixer um, that mixes the output product uh, or the product from the unit with the uh, bypass stream so this is what we call the bypass stream um, it's it's common in many uh, many cases i just give an example of why we do this but this is something that uh, we see a lot um, anyway, so this is uh, all what I want to discuss here in this video. Uh, in next video, we are going to talk about this splitter in more details. Uh, there are some specific things that we need to know about the splitter, which are very important. So I'm going to cover them in details in the um, in the next video, inshallah. So I'll see you then.